Hey everyone, my name is Riley and this video is a complete guide on how you can use the TradingView paper trading feature. The paper trading feature on TradingView allows you to practice your trading and essentially put trades into the market with fake money that doesn't actually exist in real life. This allows you to practice and backtest different trading strategies without actually having to put your own money up for risk. So you can practice everything that you need to practice before you put real money into the market. So right here, I am inside of TradingView. And as you can see, I am currently on the Tesla stock. Now, it doesn't matter what stock you are on or if you are on a cryptocurrency pair or a Forex pair, this is all going to work the same way. So just open up a random chart. And then all we are going to do is if you look down here, we kind of have this little panel at the bottom. But what we can do if we go to this gray line, you will see the cursor changes. So you will change it to this arrow and then just drag up. We are going to drag up this trading panel at the bottom. Then from here, you can see we have a few options along the top. So just flick this over to trading panel and then we can see all of the different brokers that we can connect. So we don't want to go with any of these. Instead, if we look to the furthest left, this is paper trading right here. So simply click on this and it's going to ask you to connect up a paper trading account. So all we have to do from here is click on connect. And just like that, we now have our paper trading account. As you can see by default, this is going to come with a $100,000 account balance and we can actually change this at any time. So what we can do is click on the settings icon right here. And this is going to take us into the settings for the paper trading account that we just set up. So we can click on reset account. And in here, we can choose the balance that we would like to set this account to. So you can choose the number right here. Let's say that with your account, you only want to be trading with $1,000 and you want your paper trading account to be the same. We can set this to $1,000. I'm just going to reset this back to $100,000 and then we can click reset. And your account balance is going to update right here. Another very important thing that we need to set up is actually going to be the broker commission. Because when you are trading on a brokerage platform, usually that brokerage is going to take a fee. That's how they make their money. And what a lot of paper traders do is they forget about this fee. So when it comes to actually trading, they might think that they are profitable. But when you take into account the fees on the brokerage that they are using, they're not actually going to be that profitable. So what you want to do is open up a new tab and then search for whichever broker you are going to be trading with. So let's say I am using trading 212. We can go trading 212 trading fees. And we can see with this specific brokerage, there's no commissions on stocks. And on Forex, there is a 0.15% fee. So if we were going to trade Forex, for example, with trading 212, we would go in here and set the correct fee. So we would include commission. And then for the percentage, we would set this to 0.15. And now we have the correct fee set up. So that's very important. Make sure to do that. And then if we drag this down, let's go into actually trading. So when using paper trading, I usually like to set it to about here. So I still have this small menu at the bottom, but I can still see my chart in full detail. Now we can open up the trading panel to actually start placing trades. To do this, click on trade right here. And that is going to open up the trading panel on this right hand side. From here, we have our market orders, we have our limit orders, and we also have a stop loss. So let's go in and choose a limit order. And let me actually go ahead and start charting this out. Let's go to the five minute chart right here. And then let's have a look for where we might be able to take a trade. So first of all, I am seeing a little bit of resistance in this area right here. We can see we've tested this resistance a few times. So from here to here is offering a little bit of resistance. Then we can see a huge resistance line up here. So what we can do is I'm thinking maybe we wait for price to come down to this area and we can long, or we can wait for price to go up to here and we can make a short. I'm actually liking this a lot more because there is a lot of resistance around this area. So what I'm going to do is let's say we want to short here. This is going to be my take profit. And then I'm going to place my stop loss at this swing high right here. So to place this trade, let's just remove all of these drawings right here. They're cluttering the chart. Uh, so let me just get rid of these real quick. Then what we can do is, of course, this is going to be a sell order. And I want to sell at around this area. So looking at this, it's around 180 is probably where I want to take my trade. But let's move away from that psychological number. 
So let's go for like 179.8, this area right here. So what I'm going to do is go up and set this to 179.8. Then we can choose how many shares I want to buy. Let's say that we want to buy 100 shares in this area. That's going to cost me almost $18,000. And then we can also set a take profit and a stop loss. So we can click on the take profit right here. And we can say that we want to take profit down here at maybe around 174. I want to play it safe and go to the top of this resistance area. So let's set this to 174. Then we can see if this trade goes through and comes out profitable, then I'm going to make $580. Then we also want to place a stop loss. I'm going to place this up around here. And I'm going to place this just above this swing high. So let's place this at 183. Let's go in here and place this at 183. And we can see this is an okay trade. It's definitely not the best risk to reward ratio. But just as an example, we can go ahead and place this. So what we can do is we can now click on sell. And we can see all of these lines are now going to be drawn in. So we can see with this red line right here, this is where I'm going to actually take the trade and short the market. Then if price moves down at this green line, I'm going to take profit. This is where my take profit is. And then if price continues to go up and this trade is a loss, then right at this area, this is where my stop loss is going to be. We can also move these at any time. So as an example, if I'm watching the market and maybe I want to move my stop loss up a little bit or even down, we can simply drag this up and then click on modify order. And that's going to be modified right there. I can also drag this down a little bit. Maybe we want to add this there. I can also modify order once again. And you can see that is going to change. The take profit, we can do the exact same thing. So let's just look for a little bit more resistance right here. And I see not the best resistance line, but maybe a little bit of resistance around here. We haven't hit this line for a while. But let's say that I do want to place my take profit in this area. Then we can do so right here just like that. Now, I also want to show you how this is actually going to look in action. However, the Forex markets and the stock market are closed right now. So the best way that I can do this is just by using Bitcoin. So let's go Bitcoin USTD. Is there much price action on this right now? Okay, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad. So we will place a trade here. So once again, let's draw in a few areas of support and resistance. Definitely seeing some resistance in this area right here. So maybe this is even a good place to take a trade. I might short the market right now. And then if I actually look for a place to take profit, maybe down here, I'm seeing quite a lot of resistance in this entire area right here. And I do want to play it safe though. So let's say like right here in this area is where I want to take the much resistance around here, maybe even here to the swing low. We can move this up. And um, yeah, let's place a trade right here. So once again, I'm going to actually go to a market order this time to place it right now at the current market level. And let's say, yeah, well, let's go for one. We only have 100K to trade with. So once again, let's go to limit and let's place this in this area. So we will go 69,000, uh, just go for flat 100 on the nose. Then we can go for one unit. My take profit is going to be, uh, actually, we are going to short this. So let's go sell. Then my take profit is going to be around this area. Let's say 67,700. Uh, so 60. 700 and then my stop loss is going to be right above this resistance area right here so let's say 69 so let's say 69 600 so in here we can set this to 69 600 and then we can see this is a nicer trade so if this comes in we make 1300 bucks but we're only risking 500 bucks for this so let's go ahead and sell and see if this is going to fill i'm just hoping it goes back up before it does come down Okay, so just, I would never usually do this in trading, but just for the purpose of this video, I am going to move this down a little bit, uh, just so we get filled instantly around here. Perfect. And as you can see, we are now in the trade. So as soon as that line is hit, we are automatically going to be entered into the trade. And at the bottom here, we can see the current position that we have. So right here, we can see this is a short trade. We have one Bitcoin. We can see the average fill price the take profit that we have set here. And once again, when we are in the trade, we can move these around to the area that we want to move these around to. Let's just move this back. We can then see the last price, the total profit and loss that we have in dollars, the trade value and the market value right here. 
Then we can see this is going to move in real time. So I can see right now I am $24 in profit as this is starting to move down very nicely. Let's actually go into the one minute chart right here so we can get a little bit more price action. Beautiful. So we have a little bit of a higher low going on right here. So this could potentially be a good trade. And what we could then do is obviously just like a normal trade, we would wait until this either hits our take profit or stop loss. However, just as an example, if you want to exit the trade at any time, what you can do is just go down to this close button right here. We can click into this and then we can go for close position and that's going to close us out of the position right there. So as you can see, although my trade was profitable, when we take into account the uh, commission that we set up earlier, you can see my account balance dropped because of that commission. So that's right there. We can also see the candle that we entered and the candle that we closed out of the trade on. So we entered on this candle right here and we closed out on this candle right here. You can also market buy and sell as well. So this is just going to buy Bitcoin at the current price. So let's say we just want to instantly short the market for one Bitcoin, you can see that's going to load in right there. Now, if you don't set a take profit and a stop loss before you actually take the trade, like I didn't right there, you can see if we hover over this line, we are going to get these bars. So we can grab the take profit and drag this to our take profit level. Let's just drag it. Uh, we need to modify and then we can drag it further down. And then we can also grab the stop loss right here and take this up to our desired level as well. Down at the bottom, one more thing I want to show you is we can see all of the orders that we have placed on our account. So you can see all of the Bitcoin trades that I have placed, as well as some of the Tesla trades that I have placed. Of course, these haven't been filled. That's why they don't show the fill price. And then the ones that have been filled, like the one that I show you, are going to show with this fill price. We can then see the history of all of the trades that we have taken. And we also have a trading journal right here that is going to show all of the orders that we have placed. So that is my trading view paper trading tutorial. If you found this video valuable, don't forget to smash that like button and tap that subscribe button. And until next time, take it easy.